in this segment we are going to look at solids of revolution now we know to form a solid of revolution we start out with a function and then we rotate this curve about the x-axis or the y-axis or maybe even a given line so first up we are going to look at a question a very similar question was in the 2018 examination so we have a curve where uh, you can also see the graph and uh, it's a square root function uh, we can see over there now this is rotated about the y-axis and this is modeling a fountain so the length is in meters and the domain we are given is from 2 to 3 and uh, from the graph we can see that when uh, x is 3 the y value for y is root 10 so we will be using this information later in the question so the question says determine the volume in cubic meters of water in the fountain when it is filled to a depth h meters and now it's very obvious that h can take a value from 0 up to root 10 in this case so we're going to just model it uh, to a height h now since we are rotating the curve about the y-axis we need to write this in terms of uh, y and make x the subject so that's the first thing we will do so let's rearrange the equation to make x the subject so we will write it in terms of y so we'll go menu and uh, we'll use the solve uh, option from here which is number one and we're going to write y equal so under the root sign we have got two uh, which is common and then x squared minus four and we are going to solve this for x so we'll put comma x and that gives me two uh, answers and I'm going to just copy this and I'll use that later on my table so now what we are going to do is to find the volume for the solid of revolution so I'm going to put a pi in there and then I'm going to put a bracket and I'm going to square that because it's a uh, area of the ring and then dy over there so in the bracket I'm going to copy and paste the information later on but my lower limit there is 0 and the upper limit is uh, h because we're writing the answer in terms of h so I'll go up now and copy this uh, x equals this bit over here so we just copy that and then put it within the brackets and now it is going to give me the volume for the solid of revolution in terms of h now uh, that's the volume there so now let's look at our next question it says what is the maximum volume in cubic meters that the fountain can hold and obviously that is going to happen when h is root 10 so what I'm going to do is to substitute in my last answer the value of h is root 10 so that's the condition line the vertical line and I'll go and put h equals root 10 and what this will do is give me the answer in the exact form and here's the answer in the exact form now if I do control enter it will approximate the answer is 56.29 let's look at another part which is uh, continued with the same question here we are trying to find the height when the volume will be exactly half of its maximum volume so on the previous screen we did find what the maximum volume was which was at root 10 so what we're going to do is to use the solve feature and I'm going to put the equality sign over there and once uh, I put the equality sign I'm going to put the maximum volume uh, which is 17 pi into root 10 over 3 and divide that by 2 because we're looking for half the volume so that's on the right hand side so I've just copied that and uh, let's go and paste that so I need to ensure that I divide that by 2 because we're doing half the volume so divide by 2 and now comma because you're solving for h so comma h now what I need to do is to go and uh, insert something on the left hand side of my solve equation and that needs to be the volume of uh, <coughs> the solid that we have got so I'm going to actually go and copy the volume equation there that we previously had so I'm going to copy that that's control C and I go down and paste it there and this should give me the height now so solving for h gives me the height which uh, turns out to be 1.937 
And lastly, let's look at this question whereby it says find the volume of the hollow shape formed when the curve is rotated along the x-axis. Now, in this particular case, we know that my lower bound is 2 and the upper bound is 3. So let's go and put the volume equation, so which is pi into, now I'll go and put the antiderivative template. And uh, I know my lower limit is 2, upper limit is 3. Now, uh, in the box over the root, so square root template, so the square root and then uh, put 2 and then uh, within brackets I've got uh, x square minus 4 so x square minus 4 and I need to put x over there and then I need to square this section here because we are finding the volume so bracket and then square this now what this will do is give me the answer in the exact form and if I do control enter it approximates the answer for me.